Hey, when it comes to takeout, you can't go wrong with pizza, right? No. Especially when the pies are flying high. A local chain home to one of the world's fastest pizza makers has you covered. Joining us live is Ty Dupuy, president of the Flying Pie Pizzeria, which has several locations across the metro area. Hey, Ty, good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Oh, we love talking about pizza yes, on we this do. show. Yes. So, <laughs> so what is your, your special take on pizza? Uh, the, our special take is uh, putting loads of toppings on a pizza and everything we use is fresh and unique to us. So we're, you know, like most pizza, everyone has their favorite and we make ours the way we like it. It sounds like you guys work really hard to source a lot of local ingredients. I was reading about some of the different uh, fun meats and cheeses and toppings you have. And you know how Portlanders love their, their locally sourced pizzas and food. They do. We uh, Portland has a very vibrant pizza scene. There are so many great pizza places around here, you know. And we've been we've been open since 1984 and staked our claim and slowly expanded across the metro area because customers hate driving too far. Yeah, I would agree <laughs> with that. Um, so, what is this? You know, you guys have won a lot of titles at the the Pizza Olympics. This this is a thing, and and you can win awards at it. So the Pizza Olympics uh, are in Las Vegas every year at the Pizza Expo and their competitions ranging from fastest pizza, which was my specialty, trick tossing, highest toss, largest stretch, and now they have box folding as well. That is crazy. Wow. I, and, I love yeah, so that. You, you were back to back to back, right? Title holder of world's fastest pizza <laughs> maker in the 90s. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was really great. There was, uh, it was, it was kind of in its infancy. Um, you go from there to Salsa Maggiore, Italy, and compete in the world competition. And one of my friends and and co-competitors, Tony Gemignani, has turned it into a huge deal for himself. He's he's well branded and wrote a book called The Pizza Bible, which you can find Barnes and Noble and any other bookstore. Oh my gosh! Wait, how fast did you like? What is yeah, the? Yeah, how fast is a fast yeah. pizza? Uh, my time was 13 seconds what? What? from from a dough ball to a 16 inch cheese pizza. Oh my God. But that, and, and not cooked, right? Obviously. No, no. Like ready to go in the oven. Ready to go in the oven. Ready to go in the oven. Okay. They actually measure, they measure the pizza in quadrants and everywhere there's an error in like, you had to have a quarter inch edge and the sauce and cheese had to be spread perfectly and the crust had to fit the screen perfectly. And so everywhere there was a mistake, they added a penalty second. Oh my goodness. That's, That's so cool. Nice. I didn't even know there was a pizza expo, and now I'm like, how can I go to this? Because right. I, I want to go to <laughs> and a convention pizza of pizza. While we watch them do it. That yes. sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Well, hopefully. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot to sample. There's a lot I to bet. sample. Yeah. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure the expos and conventions have, have maybe been put on hiatus right now. Yeah. How have things been during the pandemic for you guys? Well, it was, it was kind of a shock. I mean, we're neighborhood restaurants, so we like having our diners dining in with us. And that was about 70% of our business, mm. you know, before the pandemic hit. And, you know, we've, we've obviously take out is easy with pizza and we offer options. Like people could take their pizza home par baked and finish it at home in their oven. So there's, you know, besides having it fully cooked and ready to go, they can take it home and finish it when they want. And so we just transitioned to a carry out model. Okay. And then are you guys, obviously you're probably making preparations to welcome people back. We are, we've, uh, our dining rooms are, you know, we're in old buildings, so our dining rooms are kind of compact. And so currently at the 50% model, it's more like 35% occupancy for us, which it would be difficult, but we, you know, the other challenge is finding staffing right now. There's a lot of job opportunities and no one really wanting to fill them right now. So as soon as we can staff accordingly, we can reopen our dining rooms. Okay, cool. well, we look forward to that. Uh, real quick here, Ty, almost out of time, but if someone's gonna do takeout Tuesday tonight, do you have a favorite pie? What should they order? Uh, my favorite right now, because it changes all the time, I like our Miss Piggy with the barbecue sauce and add pineapple. Ooh. I love the it's, name. Uh, <laughs> it's spicy and sweet. It's really good. That okay. Good. Well, Ty Dupuy with Flying Pie Pizzeria, thanks for the, the recommendation and, and informing us about all this whole pizza world we didn't know yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to help. Thank you. Guys you. Have a great day.